Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're hopping back into UFO Universe and finally starting the testing phases and making the VIP zone way better. Alright guys, so in today's video we want to start testing the game and getting it ready for people to actually be able to play it. However, there's a few things we need to make work first. Number one, the main gameplay loop does work. However, the doors don't display anything and you can't buy them. I can't show you right now since the doors are broke, but fusing also does not work and neither does egg purchasing. The next thing that we have to do is lock off the VIP room and build a new one just so players are not able to go in there because when we're balancing, we don't want people to just all have VIP. That doesn't exactly make too much sense. So first things first, have Robo fixed the script stuff, adding fusing, adding the egg purchase and fixing the doors and I need to build this VIP room. I have absolutely no idea where my camera was in that first clip, but check it out. We've got everything fixed, so we can actually get some testers on the game, and we're gonna go over balance. So we have four zones. This game pretty much is in a four zone cycle. You have your beam shop, then a specialty like fuse or a chest or something like that, and then you have your eggs. And then the fourth zone is an empty zone. So I made these invisible barriers. Robo got the doors working, the beam shop working, fuse working, and eggs working. So everything that we needed to get fixed is now fixed and the game is fully testable. So I'm gonna grab a few people from the Discord server and just ask, hey, who wants to test? Start a little group chat. And then I'll get back to you guys with their feedback. Not really testing for bugs, or thinking of new features, we are only testing the balance of the game, which should be way off, since the doors haven't been changed from the old game, but earning money definitely has. But all right, while the Discord chat is testing, I am gonna start remaking this VIP room. In the old version of the game, it was a little tiny map, or I guess just a tiny room, that you didn't even open, simply if you bought VIP, you could claim the chest. Now we wanna make it a room to where players can actually have a little bit more than just a chest if they buy VIP. First thing we're gonna do, delete all of these old pillars. They're absolutely hideous, especially in comparison to the new ones. I have already made the VIP door, which uh, I just copied the uh, big door, scaled it down, and then changed the text on it. Let's get that somewhat centered if we can. I'd say that looks pretty good. Then we're going to duplicate these pillars and drag them to the back. I think these look so much cooler than the old ones, man. Just cause they have that bit of UFO in them. I will say, I think I want the back ones to be a little bit larger than the front ones. I think that will help with the overall grand feel of a VIP room. Let's delete that one and we'll copy this one over. Something like this. Now for the VIP walls themselves, I don't know if I'm keeping this design or thinking of something else. We definitely need to redo that back wall. I guess for now we'll keep this. If we think of something later, we could definitely change it. I do want the back wall to be a little bit taller as well. Once again, just helping with that more grand feel. I think having some sort of steps up to this chest will once again give a bit more depth in here. So let's raise this up to about here and make a part that's a pretty decent size. We're gonna want it to go to the back, about up to here, and then we'll say about right here. Maybe a little lower so everything still feels a bit floaty. Now we're gonna use the Bevler plugin, which is just gonna give some rounded edges. We're gonna delete the back too, because we just don't need those ones. And then we will scale this part back a bit. Now all we have to do is duplicate this and make it into steps. However, I just thought of this, this has to be all the way out because you have to have the ring on the ground. There we go. Now we're gonna duplicate and I think we'll do like two studs, down and up. I wonder if we just scaled it up, one, two. I'd say it works kind of okay. Move it one stud back and then just copy and paste that same thing. I'd say something like this looks pretty good and then I wanna copy that blue from the walls just so all of this is a, a nice color here. Last thing I wanna do is add in a bit of a path coming from the door and then shrink that down. So we have something that looks like this. Then I just wanna add on a little bit of a side to it. This is gonna be a little darker of a blue and I kind of feel like this should go back to a gray. 
and that could be a blue maybe this middle step as well you know what i think i'm pretty cool in with this idea here now i want to add the same trim from the top to the bottom of these walls also look at this i'm still impressed every time i do it hold tab and it moves your cursor to where you're looking that might be one of the best dev tricks i've learned all year i gotta be honest and we should probably bring this a little bit more down as well somewhere around here the vip room already looks better but i want to get some gems in here so players have something they can break and another reason to buy the vip pass all right we're in blender let's get a cylinder 12 sides will work indeed bring this up we will scale m at center and we have a gem now we can edit these proportions a bit so it looks actually nice and now we could kind of make a gem cluster so shift d scale it down and we just kind of rotate these scale that one down a little bit maybe have one back here scale down and i think something like this will work however i do feel like there's too many sides uh and shading smooth is is not it and just like that we have our gem stack now these will be auto spawned later so i'm not too too worried about getting them all placed in but i will place a few of them for now just so players can kind of see what uh what we got going on here and these will all be rotated and scaled randomly so once again this whole idea here is just the placeholder but that is definitely a more enticing vip zone than what we previously had speaking of what we previously had looking like this check out all of these maps if you like any of these that you see right here there's a whole bunch of them if you like any of these maps they are available on my website so if you want to go check that out you can use any of these maps and get all these assets for your own games that is the first link down below in the description but let's jump in with the testers and see what they're thinking on the game all right guys so we've been playing around and i just hopped into my own server now we have two lists from the testers chat let's go through them for the first time and sort of address everything and see what needs fixed in the game before we actually get starting or get started you know building everything we're trying to make sure it's fun first all right here is our first one here is my list notes make the first zones easier to buy to hook the player agreed the balance is a bit tough right now but that is one of the reasons we needed to test a way to move faster maybe a game pass yes there will be a game pass to move faster but also pets will increase your speed so what might not seem like a big thing now the further you get into the game and the better your pets get the faster you will be flying as you can see we have a 0.15 move speed boost so the more pets and the better pets you have you will go faster but that is hard to tell when there's uh literally two eggs you can buy within the testing version ui feels outdated like a 2017 vibe uh that's because the ui was made like two years ago and we haven't redone it yet but that is on the to-do list this is the old ui just hasn't been updated clicking boxes when moving feels rough you know i personally i didn't think so like we have the little thing to hover and attack like maybe we'll try to find a different way to go about that but first time i've heard this issue or this complaint new rank safe destroyer and safe smasher but it's boxes yes uh in the old version of the game the only thing you could destroy was safes we didn't have boxes presents crates and everything like that so we will have to kind of redo the ranks coin pickup range is too close expand the range got it make an equip best button for hats oh make it show better that's another thing to do with the ui we'll definitely take that into account when we remake it zone three needs a big nerf the breakables give very little amount of coins and one million coins is too expensive for zone four understandable auto attack great idea egg hatching should be a billboard ui we'll see egg playtime rewards feel more rewarding pets attack different boxes you could break objects in the next zone before you unlock okay so right now what we can fix is breaking objects in the next zone before you unlock them i'm gonna go hit up robo have them fix them and then we will get into our next set of feedback all right the box breaking in the next zone should be fixed now we're gonna hop in and give that a shot and then we'll see what the other testers said so far about the game all right so we might have broke something else no boxes are spawning in this first zone 
Oh, there they go. They just spawned in a little bit late. Loading screen will fix that issue, no problem. Let's grab my rewards. I guess I'm gonna have to go back to pick them up. I definitely see what they mean by the collect range is too small. And there we go. You can no longer select boxes that are in other zones. So the number one bug or the only bug that's been reported so far is now fixed. Let's check out the next set of uh, critiques. Little bit confusing when the small boxes have more HP than the larger ones. Agreed, it's, uh, it's a, a spectrum. So if the small box is between, let's say 50 and 100, the big box could be between 75 and 150. But there's that small area in between where they could both technically be at 75. But we'll try to make that a little bit more clear when we get more into balancing. Walk super slow, we've been through that. Don't feel much of a difference from switching one zone to another. Well, there's not really a difference yet. There's no map. It's just black walls. The map is bland. You don't say. Uh, I. The whole point of this was testing balance, not uh, not being visually impressed. <laughs> not engaging. It is competitive and fun when racing against others on progress, though. Yeah, it'll be a lot more engaging when sound effects get added and just a lot more stuff. Right now, it is a very bare minimum game. There's a lot more to add to help with that engaging factor. Damage does not matter after 1k or so. The end I have 15k damage per second, but boxes are 50 through 1k health. Yes, that is what we needed. The balance of the game is definitely still uh, bad, to say the least. Progression's too slow. Got it. Using pets should have a short description. Got it. You only get pets after zone 2. Yes. I don't think that's a problem, though. I feel like it makes you want to get to zone three. No sounds. We got that. The upgrade is too boring. It simply changes the beam and does not have a big impact on visuals. Well, the beams are sort of something that's like, they're just, they help, right? They multiply your total damage and you only see them when you hit like that. However, they get a lot cooler as the game goes on. Keep in mind, this is the first zone and you're not seeing any of the other beams in the other zones. If we go to the next zone that has beams, they start looking a little bit cooler, as you can see. And then as you go further and further into more and more shops, they just get cooler and cooler. But I guess that would be hard to tell when you can only play in the first four zones. Anyways, with all of that feedback, me and Robo can go ahead and tackle balancing one more time, reset all of the testers stats, and then give it a round number two. But we're gonna save that for another day. The first one's not even a question. It just says we need street names on the minimap. I don't think that's gonna happen. It would look so cluttered and cramped if we put every street name on the minimap. I just, I don't think it's gonna happen. But your concern of getting lost will be easily fixed with clearly marked points of interest. We gotcha, trust me, don't worry. But street names on the minimap is uh, probably not the best idea. Totally Finn has a question though. Will you add a feature where over time your bike will turn more dirty and you have to go wash it somewhere? It sounds fun and I'm not going to say no to the idea, but it definitely won't be here in alpha or beta. It sounds like a little side part of a big update later down the road, but I do like the idea and we'll lock it in the mental vault. That's going to wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.